Hey there, when you fly again, will you wear a face covering if the airline requires it? A new rule requiring face masks in the airplane and in the airport caused a plane to be diverted this past week. Why did these two passengers refuse to wear a mask? Were their rights compromised? I want to get out to the public three things concerning flying in an airplane during this pandemic. I'm going to talk planes, but I'm going to talk plainly. This is real talk for me. Some passengers out there do not know that a face mask is required in most airports and in most airplanes. So this video is going to help you know what the rules are, what your options are as a passenger, and what airlines can do to enforce these rules. This video is not going to be about the debate on whether or not people should be on airplanes right now. That is a personal choice. I am not scared to fly during this pandemic. I have a low concern about traveling in an airplane right now, but like Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs, I am not petrified. I will link his post in the description box if you want to debate airline travel right now. I'm a pilot wife here in Houston and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Be sure to introduce yourself down below if we have not met yet. My husband is an airline pilot. We know that he's going to take a pay cut like so many workers out there are. Uh, we got furloughed about 19 years ago and so we know not to live above our means but still it hurts and if you want to know about the pilot life I will link a video in the description box for you but you can read on each airline's site what they are doing that goes beyond what the CDC is suggesting that a company do for cleanliness standards. My concern is low because I know I have a very high chance of surviving the coronavirus if I get it and I know that by wearing a mask I can help maybe someone else not get it if I am carrying it unknowingly. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention has become a trusted source for companies and myself. They recommend that you wear a cloth face covering in case you have the coronavirus so that you do not spread it to other people. The CDC states that masks may help stop the spread of COVID-19. So you should wear a mask when you are around other people outside of your household and when you cannot distance six feet or more. Airlines are following the CDC guidelines and they're doing more than they require, like I said, by using HEPA filters. They're using the CDC as their trusted source, their authority figure. It's not just their opinion that they want to make everybody wear masks. Costco, for example, is using the CDC as their authority figure and saying, wear a mask or don't come in our store. And they are a private company, so they have the right to put that rule out there. So what is the mask rule? Airlines like American are now requiring a cloth face covering. Their site says that you could be denied boarding if you do not wear a mask, as well as not be allowed on future flights on American. Delta Airlines diverted a plane because two passengers refused to put back on their mask while they were in flight. And there are still unknowns about that news blip is the story true? Did it really happen like they're saying it happened? Why did the captain divert instead of just going to the airport and banning them from all future flights? Coming back from Montana a few weeks ago, the flight attendant mid-flight said, hey folks, I noticed that some of you do not have your mask on. Please put it on, we know it's hard, yada, yada, yada. If someone did refuse to put back on their mask mid-flight, and cause us to think about it, I would be furious as a passenger because now I have no rights to make that flight that I was trying to make the connection for to get to my family reunion or my golden anniversary trip. And I don't know if those two people realize that when a plane diverts, especially just a few minutes after they took off, you're now landing a plane that's full of fuel, which is very dangerous, but we still don't know the whole story. <laughs> and I don't know if we ever will, but Delta's website also says that airline employees and passengers are required to wear a mask in the airport and on the airplane, every part of the flying process. I think that's going to become the new normal. And we all should know that because when you do buy a ticket with an airline, you're going to get a notification when you check in and it says it right there when you check check in that says masks are now required. If you do not have one, we will provide one for you. United Airlines says that on their website and they are requiring employees and passengers to wear masks in the airport and in the airplane. You are not allowed to board a United Airlines plane unless you have a mask on. And most people will read that message that pops up on their phone or in their email 
you have to use that email or pop up on your phone in order to check in. So you can't deny that you didn't know the information. But United Site also says if you refuse, then they will refuse to transport you and maybe ban you from all future flights on United. It is absolutely impossible to social distance on an airplane. So before you even buy a ticket, you've already known that there's a chance you could have cross-contamination in an airplane. I think about that when I go to the grocery store. Airplanes have emergency room hospital grade filters. So it's much safer to breathe the air in an airplane than it is in my grocery store, than it is in a, my favorite restaurant that I finally got to go to. The direction that the air flows in an airplane also makes it safer than being in a grocery store. And it never was possible to be six feet away from another airline passenger, even with the seat in between them empty. So wearing a mask is their only requirement. And they have a right as a privately owned company to make rules that we have to follow. They have rules that their employees have to follow. If I want to fly with a buddy pass or a standby pass as a pilot wife, I have a dress code that I have to adhere to. When I want to fly standby, am I going to abide by the standby dress code that says I cannot wear leggings as pants with a little crop top? I can't wear jeans that are ripped to shreds. <laughs> My choice as a family member of an airline employee is to abide by the dress code or choose another way to travel. Passengers are notified that masks are required now. We have flown with four different airlines this summer and all of them notified us that masks were required on the airplane. I know several of the airlines are allowing you to change your flights before July 31st. So if you are nervous or angry about wearing a mask, then change that flight, cancel that flight, postpone it for another year until you know that masks won't be required and then you will feel more comfortable about making a set ticket. Let's return to the Costco example. It is my right as a consumer to shop somewhere else if I don't want to wear a mask in Costco. For me personally, I don't know if they really are necessary. I don't know if they really do work. There's so many authority figures that you can trust out there and we all have different beliefs. But I have swallowed my anger. I have swallowed my what I think my right is. And I have worn a mask to get into Costco because their rotisserie chicken is the juiciest and the biggest out of all the choices that I have as a consumer. <laughs> what I trust as far as mask efficacy does not matter. What I believe as far as medical conditions does not matter. I can either follow the rule or I can choose another avenue or another company to support. What matters more to me is that I get that Costco chicken. What matters more to me is that I get to Georgia to see my mama. What matters to me is that my family gets out of our house now that we can travel somewhere that since Montana opened up. In order to do that, I will wear a mask as long as it gets me to my desired destination. My desire to go to Costco outweighs my desire to not wear a mask because I get totally lightheaded and hot. It's worth it to me to wear a mask so I can get that rotisserie chicken. So in our post lockdown summer of airline travel, we do still have options. We can change our flight, we can refund it, or we can request a voucher. We can choose to drive, we can choose to give another company our money, or we can keep living life to the fullest and just wear a mask whenever someone requires it. <laughs> Is your vacation worth wearing a mask if you have one planned? Are you driving to your vacation destination instead of flying? What are your thoughts on wearing a mask in an airplane? We are still looking for a road trip to go on, but it's hard to find somewhere that's within driving distance that's not super humid, like uh, near Houston. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your time and thanks for your opinion and thanks for listening to all of my thoughts and topics on this mask mess that we're in.